Greetings and much blessings. As it is written, train up a child in the way he must go. And when he's old, he'll never depart from it. But I believe that a lot of people in this day and age don't really think about the training part. When most thinks when when most people think of training, they they think of more or less raising, rearing up a child, but really it's more so like training, like the military, like a champion. Think of your child as an upcoming champion, as an upcoming warrior, as an upcoming soldier. I prefer the word champion, but there is an element of the warrior spirit that needs to be put in a child as well, especially in a son. So a child's life is basically one of where they're being trained versus being raised. I think if one thought this way, especially as it pertains to scripture, it actually it actually will help you be a better parent. And the other thing, instead of even just seeing yourself as a parent, see yourself as more of a teacher. That way you become more effective towards your child while they're living with you for 18 years or even longer than that, because, you know, that's just a westernized type of idea as far as uh, the 18 year is concerned. You know, some children need to stay longer than 18 years, and that's perfectly fine. 18 years is definitely not the standard. Some children need a little bit longer training. That's fine. But I believe if people thought more of this way, that would actually help you because now you're realizing that the whole idea of training up a child in the way he must go, that also applies for she. When you train up a child in the way they must go, you're literally training them for the world, training them for the purpose that they're on this planet. And this would help them be better off and more well-rounded. And so you think about it. A lot of children out here become adults and they end up the way they are based on the type of training that they had at home. Y'all stay blessed.